Hello and welcome. Today we're diving into some huge news from the world of AI video generation. Chinese AI company StepFun has just dropped Step Video T2V, a powerful new text-to-video model that's claiming to be state-of-the-art. But is it all hype or is this the real deal? First, let's take a look at some example videos reportedly generated by Step Video T2V. We'll see what this thing can supposedly do. Okay, those look pretty impressive, I have to admit. The detail, the motion, the overall quality, if those are genuine Step Video T2V outputs, it's definitely a contender. But the real test is how it handles our prompts. We're not going to go easy on it. We're going to throw some complex, challenging prompts at Step Video T2V and see if it can actually deliver. We'll be looking for things like, does it understand nuanced instructions? Can it handle multiple characters and actions? Does it maintain consistency across the video? And most importantly, does it avoid those weird AI artifacts we all know and hate? And the best part? You can try it out too. I've got a link right here where you can use Step Video T2V for free with unlimited generations. That's right, unlimited. So you can follow along with me or try your own crazy prompts. Let's see this thing in action. We're going to start with a look at some of those official example videos, the ones Step Fun is showcasing. Remember, these are their best case scenarios, so keep that in mind. Let's check out this women's 5,000 meter race. High angle, clear view, on-screen information. And, wow, this one's actually really good. We see the runners, the track details, even some numbers on the screen like a stopwatch. The numbers aren't perfect, but the overall realism of the race is impressive. Next, a dog kingdom scene. Dog emperor, ladies in waiting, colorful clothes, all smiling. This one's a winner. The animation is crisp, the characters are expressive, it nails the prompt. Here's a simple one, a Chinese girl walking her dog. And yep, it delivers. Cute dog, nice garden setting, no complaints here. Now, a shirtless tattooed man being interviewed. Ferris wheel in the background. This one's spot on. The lighting, the details, the setting, it's all there. A woman dancing on a dimly lit stage. We're supposed to see a low angle tracking shot and a fringed skirt. The result is good, though you'll notice some flickering and disappearing limbs, a common issue with AI video generation. Here is a 3D animation for the year of the snake, 2025. Fireworks, a cartoon snake with sunglasses. Great result. The text is perfect, the snake is cool, and the overall vibe is festive. Next up, stage lights and a backdrop. The prompt called for blue lights and a lake and mountain scene. We get the blue lights and some performers, but the backdrop isn't quite as described. Still a decent effort. Now, a boy in a superhero costume running through a city. The prompt called for tracking shots. And yes, we see him running. The city looks vibrant. It's a solid, dynamic shot. Here is boy transforming into a magical girl. Pink skirt, starry background. Excellent result. The transformation is smooth and the effect is pretty magical. A Chinese girl in ancient costume holding a paper that says, we will open source. The execution is flawless. The details, the text, the setting, perfect. Here we have Steve Jobs introducing, step video is coming. And wow, it's a convincing recreation of a press conference with the text perfectly rendered on the screen behind him. Two women in a car, one holding a gun, cinematic style, amazing result. The details, the expressions, the lighting, it's incredibly realistic. A yellow race car on a track in the clouds, tracking camera. The video delivers exactly that. Dynamic, surreal, and well executed. A man with scars on his face, close up. The video follows the prompt precisely. The expression, the lighting, the grainy texture, all on point. A robot riding a horse, holding a step fun flag. This one's great. The movement, the setting, the flag, it's all very well done. An astronaut running on the moon, low angle shot, impressive. The movement looks light and natural, and the lunar background is convincing. An orange kitten in a raincoat, riding a scooter. Not quite perfect, but the overall vibe is definitely there. It's a charming, if slightly imperfect, scene. A woman doing sit-ups. And this is a great result. The movement is realistic. The setting is simple and clear. It's a good demonstration of the model's capabilities. A boy transforming into Venom. Close-ups, dark environment, and wow, this is insane. The transformation is detailed and very well executed. A boy holding a fireball. Handheld camera. Another good result. The fireball effect is convincing, and the handheld camera adds to the intensity. A boy with glowing eyes illuminating a room. Perfect. The lighting effect is dramatic, and the overall mood is mysterious and hopeful. A man and a woman skipping rope. The prompt called for the woman to pause mid-video, but she doesn't. Otherwise, it's a good, natural-looking scene. A boy taking off his suit to reveal a metallic body. In this example, he's wearing a metallic suit over his regular suit, not quite what was intended. A vintage SUV driving down a dusty hill. Good result, according to the prompt. 
The lighting, the dust, the movement, it all works. A boy turning into a girl, white background. Wow, this is a great result. The transformation is smooth and seamless. A stuffed husky snowboarding, cute. The animation is well done and the scene is charming and dynamic. A racer on a dirt track, eye level tracking. Seems perfect to me. The movement, the setting, the details, all very convincing. Then Jack on a raft with an island appearing, good result. It captures the loneliness and the glimmer of hope described in the prompt. A polar bear playing guitar. The animation is clear and realistic, and the setting is perfect. An astronaut playing basketball. It looks like he is playing on the moon. Very good result. Black and white ink style mountains. The camera zooms in on a pavilion. An impressive result capturing the artistic style of the prompt. A skeleton dancing at sunset. Amazing result. The movement is fun and the scenario is really interesting. Next up, we have a Greek statue coming to life, waving and getting photographed. The prompt called for a zoom in on the head, but the video actually zooms out showing the whole scene. Still, the animation itself is pretty smooth. Next, a red-haired woman performing on stage. The prompt specified flickering lights and dynamic camera movements and, well, we get the red hair and the dancing, but the lighting and camera work are pretty static. Not quite what was promised. Here's a time lapse of a city skyline. The prompt wanted dawn tonight with fast moving clouds. We definitely get the fast clouds and the dynamic blur, but it's more like a short segment of time, not a full day to night transition. Still, the effect is visually impressive. Now, an older man playing the piano. The prompt was simple, light from the side. The video delivers on that, but something's off. His fingers don't quite seem to be playing the piano realistically. A bit uncanny valley there. Okay, those were the official examples. Now it's our turn. Let's see if Step Video T2V can handle some tougher, more specific prompts. Before we jump into the testing, let's quickly break down how Step Video T2V works. This isn't just another incremental update. This is a 30 billion parameter behemoth capable of generating videos up to 204 frames long. What makes it really stand out is its innovative approach to video compression. They're using a deep compression video VAE, a variational autoencoder, that achieves a massive 16x16s 16 16 spatial and 8x temporal compression. This means faster training, faster inference, and ultimately, the ability to handle more complex video generation tasks. Under the hood, it's built on a diffusion transformer architecture, or DIT, with some clever additions like 3D full attention and 3D rope to handle varying video lengths. But the real magic comes from something called Video DPO, Direct Preference Optimization. They've used human feedback to fine tune the model, making the generated videos look more realistic and less, well, AI-ish. Fewer artifacts, smoother motion. It's a big step up. Step Fun is also releasing their own benchmark, Step Video T2V Evil, to measure the performance of these models and they're claiming state-of-the-art results, beating out both open source and commercial competitors. The models are available now on Hugging Face and Model Scope, and there's an online demo you can check out, I'll put links in the description. Step Video also offers a distilled version, Step Video T2 V Turbo. This version allowed generating high fidelity videos in 10 to 15 inference steps. Now, fair warning, you'll need some serious hardware to run this locally, we're talking an NVIDIA GPU with a lot of memory. But the fact that a model this powerful is becoming available is a huge deal. This shows the incredible pace of innovation in AI video generation, and specifically, the impressive advancements coming out of China. StepFun acknowledges the XDIT team and Fast Video team. Alright, enough tech talk. First, I tried Will Smith eating spaghetti, and the result is surprisingly good. It's definitely Will Smith, and he's definitely interacting with spaghetti. It's not perfect, but it's far better than many other video generators I've seen. Next, a girl in pink smiling at the beach, and the result is not bad. We have a girl, she's smiling, and she's at the beach. Pretty straightforward, and it works. Now for a more challenging one. Create a realistic kitchen video of a chef slicing a ripe tomato on a cutting board. Emphasize the crisp sound of the knife, the burst of juice, or the detailed texture of the tomato skin, and the precise movement of the knife in high definition slow motion. I tried this twice, and honestly, it's not great. We see some clear imperfections. It struggles with the fine details and realism. Then, I tried a simple one, a female gymnast performing. Again, I tried it twice, and the results are not perfect. We see the same kind of limb distortions and inconsistencies that plague many AI video generators. Next, a female breakdancing in a busy street. It looks like she's breakdancing, but again, there are those telltale imperfections. The movement isn't quite natural. Here's another complex one. Create a detailed video of a stone being dropped into a calm pond. Focus on realistic water splash dynamics, ripple propagation, reflective surfaces, and natural light interplay that emphasizes the liquid's texture and movement. And the result is actually pretty good. It's not photorealistic, 
but it captures the essence of the scene surprisingly well. What do you think? Generate a realistic cafe scene where a barista pours steaming coffee into a cup. Focus on the fluid dynamics of the swirling liquid, rising steam, the detailed ceramic textures, and the ambient lighting of a modern cafe setting. This one's just average. Not very impressive, and I don't see much liquid movement, just coffee being poured. Produce a realistic demolition scene of an old building using controlled explosives. Highlight accurate physics of falling debris, dust dispersion, shockwave effects, and detailed textures of concrete and metal in a high-resolution urban environment. The result is not according to the prompt. It's more like a post-demolition scene, not the actual demolition. Generate a realistic simulation of a car navigating a test track in an urban setting. Showcase accurate vehicle dynamics, tire friction, suspension movements during sharp turns, and realistic reflections with immersive sound effects and high-detail visuals. And, this is a poor result. It doesn't look realistic at all. The car movement is awkward. Finally, a cat watching itself as a lion in a mirror. It's more like a lion watching itself as a cat in the mirror, so it's kinda did the opposite of what the prompt asked. Alright, we've tested complex scenes, dynamic actions, and object interactions. Now, let's see how Step Video T2 handles personalities. This is a big challenge for AI. Can it accurately depict well-known figures? First, I tried a simple prompt. President Trump and Elon Musk on the stage. The goal here was to see if it could generate recognizable likenesses, and the result is not great. Honestly, I don't think either of the figures in the video look much like the US president or Musk. It seems to be struggling with specific identities. Okay, let's try another one. This time, Putin and the US president, shaking hands. This is a more specific interaction. And, wow. The first attempt gave us two Putins shaking hands. It's like a bizarre cloning experiment. Let's try that prompt again. And now we have three Putins. Still, absolutely no sign of the President Trump. So, it seems Step Video T2V can generate some recognizable people, but it's definitely hit or miss, and it completely failed to generate a requested personality in this case, multiple times. So, there you have it. A first look at Step Video T2V with both its strengths and weaknesses. It's clearly a powerful model, capable of generating some impressive results, especially with simpler prompts or when it aligns with its training data. But it still struggles with complex, highly detailed scenarios, and those telltale AI artifacts are still present. It's not a magic bullet, but it's definitely a step forward in AI video generation. Don't forget to try it out yourself using the link I provided, and let me know what you create.